Good evening, everyone. A second murder suspect that was supposed to be housed in the Lowndes County Jail was released from custody. Now he's back behind bars after less than a week on the run from the law. Malcolm Hill is charged with capital murder. He and Victoria Slayton are accused of killing Marcus Pate in October of 2018. Our Cash Matlock has more on the story. Malcolm Hill is here at the Lowndes County Adult Detention Facility, but on October 28th, deputies say he wasn't in custody. Hill was on probation when he was indicted for capital murder. He was then sent to a Mississippi Department of Corrections facility until his arraignment on August 23rd and denied bond. The department says that's when Hill was returned to the MDOC facility to complete his revoked probation sentence. The problem came when it was discovered a detainer or a hold was not put on Hill when he was denied bond for the capital murder charge. A MDOC spokesperson tells WCBI Hill was released on probation on October 25th in Lee County. So on paper, it appeared Hill was free to go. That's why MDOC released him. Again, MDOC had no paperwork to prohibit Hill from being let go. Hill was captured in Foley, Alabama on October 30th. He was returned to Lowndes County on Saturday after an extradition hearing. The Lowndes County Sheriff's Department says they are re-examining the failure of communication that led to the circumstances surrounding Hill's release. All right, Cash, a lot of people talking about this today. You know, how does a paperwork issue like this happen? Right, Andre. Well, according to the Sheriff's Department, there is an employee who was in charge of placing that detainer or hold on Hill, and the department says that that staff member is no longer employed at the jail. And Cash, this isn't the first time something like this has happened either. Unfortunately, Joey, it's not the first time. There was another, another murder suspect, Joshua Murray, who was uh, released uh, from custody due to a paperwork issue. And this happened just a few weeks after uh, the situation with Hill. Now, the sheriff's office said that Murray, uh, he was arraigned on a first-degree murder charge of Gerald Ward. Now, it turned out that uh, there was no hold placed on him, and uh, that means that MDOC could not hold him. So uh, it did turn out, though, later on that Murray did turn himself into authorities. I imagine this is something they'll keep an eye on going forward, for sure. For sure, for sure. They actually released a statement saying that they are going to look into that miscommunication. All right, thanks a lot, Cash. In 